Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This is a lecture about line coding techniques also known as PAM formats. Here we will understand uh, what are line coding techniques and different kinds of line coding techniques like uh, unipolar RZ. RZ stands for return to zero and uh, unipolar NRZ format, polar RZ, polar NRZ, bipolar NRZ uh, also known as alternative mark inversion AMI in short split phase Manchester line coding technique uh, we will uh, also discuss why we use line coding what is the importance and significance of these uh, line coding techniques and uh, what are various uh, problems that we face while uh, transmitting digital or in the discrete signal over the channel band limited channel and how we can use line coding techniques uh, to overcome these uh, effects this video also discusses the intersymbol interference problem this uh, isi problem intersymbol interference problem is faced when uh, we transmit discrete signal over a band limited channel and how we can overcome this isi effect so let's start with uh, what is line coding and why it is used when a discrete signal is transmitted over a band limited channel then the signal gets dispersed okay we see a distortion in the signal while transmitting the digital signal over band limited channel this distortion due to dispersion is because of overlapping of adjacent pulses actually what happens when we transmit discrete signals uh, that is the digital uh, format the binary format of uh, signal is transmitted over a band limited channel then uh, the output that we receive at the receiving end is not only because of uh, the transmitting bit but also it is affected by the bits that are adjacent to it they affect they interfere with the adjacent bits so this type of uh, dispersion is caused uh, because of the overlapping of the adjacent pulses and it is known as intersymbol interference this intersymbol interference in short is known as isi and we use uh, uh, line coding techniques to remove this effect to overcome this effect so first we will understand uh, what is uh, line coding and uh, then we will see different types of uh, line coding techniques uh, and uh, after that we will see how we can uh, use these uh, line coding techniques to remove this effect so let's uh, start first we convert it into a PAM suitable format and then we transmit it over the channel and these different kinds of PAM formats are known as line codes and here we are going to discuss each of them one by one so keep watching till the end here we will discuss various line coding techniques like uh, unipolar RZ unipolar NRZ polar RZ polar NRZ bipolar NRZ also known as alternative mark inversion in short we call it AMI and also the split phase Manchester line coding technique but uh, before starting uh, each uh, line coding technique one by one let me first uh, give you a brief idea about uh, unipolar bipolar polar and RZ and RZ what they stand for so unipolar as the name suggests it means single pole and polar means p polar and bipolar are uh, two forms of poles poles means uh, uh, if it is unipolar then we have only positive part and if it is polar or bipolar then we have plus and minus we use uh, plus and minus and positive and uh, negative amplitudes to represent the binary pulses and this rz and nrz it means return to zero and non return to zero this will be clear uh, when we will uh, deal with any one of these so first we will discuss the unipolar rz why it is called as unipolar and uh, why it is called as rz and how to make it how to create this and why it is useful so first is the unipolar rz let's start with it uh, here we are taking the binary sequence as 10110011 for example and uh, if I want to apply the unipolar, I, I want uh, unipolar RZ form here. So it is unipolar as I told you that unipolar means single pole. So here uh, we represent this one by plus uh, positive amplitude A and uh, zero by zero. Okay, there is no negative part here. In the same way, here it is also unipolar. So you will not see anything below this uh, x-axis. There is nothing negative here since it is unipolar okay 
and the difference between rz and nrz is return to zero means it as you can see from here to here this is the time period of this binary symbol tb okay time period of this binary symbol and this is the half time period so it uh, uh, for uh, binary symbol 1 it remains at amplitude 1 for half time period tb by 2 and then it returns to 0 and it uh, has value 0 and for uh, 0 as I know that it is uh, 0 for the time interval full time interval and again for uh, 1 we see that it is uh, again having value amplitude a but it again returns to 0 it is not uh, continuously 1 for the whole time period so this is the case but this is not the same case with uh, this uh, nrz format it is non returning to 0 because uh, here it is uh, continuously amp up to amplitude a for the full time interval full uh, time period of this binary bit one okay so it is one and it goes to zero when it finishes this overall uh, this time interval and it is zero for this zero and again it is one from here to here but again we have a uh, binary symbol one again so it is uh, of amplitude a again so it is not returning to zero but uh, in case of this uh, return to zero rz format it goes back to zero after half time interval you see it is it is half time interval it is a and goes to zero and it uh, becomes zero it uh, keeps the value zero for the remaining half time period half uh, time interval and then for one it is a for half time period and then zero so it goes uh, back to zero after half time interval so it is known as return to zero and while it is not returning to zero it is known as non return to zero so i think it is clear this is the both are unipolar formats uh, but they are this is return to zero this is non returning to zero for uh, nrz format it may be observed that the pulse does not return to zero on its own if the symbol zero is to be transmitted then pulse becomes zero the internal uh, computer waveforms are generally unipolar nrz type of this type actually Okay. Since we see no separation between the pulses, therefore the receiver needs synchronization to detect unipolar NRZ pulses. Okay, We need synchronization. If you uh, compare these two formats of RZ and NRZ, then you will see that uh, NRZ pulse width is more. Okay, this, this pulse width is more. This is a small pulse width. This is more pulse width. Therefore, the energy of the pulse is more in case of this NRZ format. And since these are unipolar uh, formats, this unipolar uh, format has uh, some uh, average DC value. And this DC value does not have uh, any information. It doesn't contain any information. So why does it have uh, unipolar format have uh, DC value? Because this is all above the x-axis. There is no negative part. There is no negative part to cancel it out. So it has uh, this DC part. Okay, so it has some DC value. Next, we will discuss uh, another uh, technique, line coding technique known as polar RZ and polar NRZ. Here we will discuss it a uh, little faster because you know the concepts of polar and rz and rz since it is polar as i told you uh, polar means having poles uh, having uh, two polarities that is plus and minus parts both so here we have positive part and below the time axis we have some part also so its dc value is less since uh, it is uh, rz so it returns to zero after the half time interval as you can see here li like the previous case and this is polar nrz so it is uh, having the this constant a by 2 value for the full time interval full binary bit symbol 1 and also for the symbol binary symbol 0 for both it is having continuously constantly a value of a by 2 and minus a by 2 throughout the binary bit interval okay so polar rz so you can see it is having value a by 2 plus a by 2 uh, for the half time interval and for 1 and then it goes to 0 as it is returned to 0 after the half time interval and for 0 uh, it has minus a by 2 as it is polar format so has uh, both the poles positive and negative and uh, since it is rz so it again returns to 0 after the half time interval from a from minus a by 2 and this uh, this is same uh, this is 1 1 and in this case it returns to 0 
again uh, from a by 2 twice and since it is uh, non returning to 0 so in this case it continuously has uh, a value of a by 2 for this whole time interval of 2 time intervals of 1 okay same is for 0 so minus a by 2 I think it's uh, quite uh, easy and um, the concept is not very difficult as you can observe from here that uh, this polar RZ and NRZ formats are bipolar okay they have both poles positive and negative parts okay therefore the average DC value is minimum in these uh, kind of waveforms they cancel out each other since positive part is also there and negative part is to cancel it out so DC value is very less DC value is minimum so you can also understand it from this fact that uh, if the probability of happening or occurrence of ones and zeros is equal in the binary stream with this binary sequence then the average DC value would be zero each uh, if they are uh, in equal numbers one and if we have five ones and five zeros then we will have uh, uh, five uh, positive parts and they will be cancelled out by the five negative parts so average DC value will be zero so this is clear I think come to the next topic now we will discuss two other formats two other uh, line coding techniques bipolar NRZ it is known as alternative mark inversion AMI and another one is split phase Manchester these uh, both are very interesting and important formats here in a bipolar NRZ uh, you see it since it is NRZ you know it it is non returning to zero so it is not returning to zero it is not uh, coming to zero after half time interval it is uh, having constant value a here uh, throughout the whole uh, binary symbol interval and uh, since it is bipolar and bipolar means it will have uh, positive and negative components both so it will have uh, low power low dc power low dc component okay and uh, uh, another uh, name that it has got is alternative mark inversion it explains uh, its properties also ami why it is alternate mark inversion here we focus just focus on ones here if the first one is a plus a having amplitude plus a uh, for the full time interval then the another one that we get after this is having will have a negative of a minus a and again it is plus a then the next one will have a minus a so it is alternatively changing uh, between uh, plus a and minus a okay so it is alternate mark inversion it keeps on changing for successive uh, ones keep in mind only the ones okay from this for this one it is plus a for this is minus for this one this is plus a then for uh, this it is minus a so this is the bipolar nrz after seeing the properties of this bipolar nrz that is ami line coding technique you can easily understand that uh, if we have even number of ones then the dc component of the this waveform ami waveform would be zero because uh, if it is uh, four then uh, we will have uh, 2 plus a amplitudes and 2 minus a amplitude so, so the average DC component would be 0 they will cancel out each other the advantage of this uh, AMI format is that the ambiguities due to transmission sign inversion are removed they are eliminated okay so this is very important format next we come to the split phase Manchester in split phase Manchester we use two kinds of uh, pulses we use two waveforms here if I wanted to transmit one then this uh, positive half interval pulse will be followed by this negative half interval pulse and for transmitting zero this symbol will be used this pulse will be used that is negative half pulse would be followed by this half uh, interval positive uh, pulse so you can easily observe it uh, from here this is the whole time interval tb and these are the half half intervals positive followed by negative and here negative followed by positive here watch carefully that for this one i have used this symbol this symbol this one okay watch this and for zero here it is zero so for zero i have used this symbol this negative half interval followed by positive half interval as I told you here at this place for zero I have used this symbol so for each one and zero 
I have used these symbols. Okay. Uh, watch here. And for one, two ones, I have used the symbol twice. Okay. This kind of symbol I have used twice here. Here, this is symbol. And again for this one, here is this positive half interval followed by negative half interval so the basic um, very important advantage of this format is that that irrespective of the probabilities of occurrences of symbol 1 and 0 the waveform has uh, zero average value always because in each type in each either for if you this is having average uh, dc uh, value for this one is in itself uh, zero because it has uh, half uh, half in for half interval it is uh, positive amplitude and the equal amplitude is there for half interval for the negative part so for one it is average dc power is average dc value is zero and either on also for zero binary bit it is uh, average dc value is zero so irrespective of the how many uh, ones we have or how many zeros we have we have always uh, zero average dc value so in this mode the power saving is very high but uh, there is also a drawback of this format that uh, this format requires absolute sense of polarity at the receiving end so this is uh, a disadvantage of this part so uh, here we have discussed uh, various uh, line coding formats hope you got uh, each concept and uh, in the next videos we will discuss uh, more uh, things about these line coding techniques and uh, various other modulation techniques so keep watching engineering made easy if you liked it please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy keep watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.